This guy's solution for keeping neighborhood kids off his lawn is too extreme to believe. As a child, there's probably a pretty good chance that you were scared off an angry neighbor's lawn while they yelled at you through their window at least once or twice. Now, as an adult, you might be tempted to shout away a few stray kids here and there yourself. Brian Tucker of Sanston, Virginia was almost like a living character of that one mean old guy in the neighborhood who always yells at the passing kids to get off his property. According to him, every single morning the local neighborhood children would cause a disturbance right outside his house. Frustrated, Tucker then decided to take a measure so extreme that the authorities actually had to be called in to settle the dispute. Do you think that children lack respect for other people's property? Let us know down in the comments below. Then take a moment to like this story and don't forget to subscribe for more just like it. Brian Tucker's house was situated right behind one of the bus stops where the neighborhood children would wait for a ride to their local elementary school every morning. Tucker claims that every single day the kids would play loudly and then leave trash behind on his well manicured lawn. They don't respect other people's land, Brian said. So he decided to call the county and according to him they refused to do anything about it They said it was my responsibility if the kids get hurt on my land So Brian decided to put up some no trespassing signs around his yard He then installed home security cameras in order to monitor his property at all times And he also claims that he would frequently ask the children to politely stay off his lawn Still nothing worked as the new school year was approaching Tucker then decided to devise a plan they would finally end his troubles with the neighborhood children once and for all so on the first day of school parents who were bringing their kids to the bus stop near his house got the first look at a large new addition to his yard a wire fence that was wrapped all the way around his lawn then when one of the parents actually touched the fence and received a quick shock they quickly realized that it was actually an electric wire fence that was defending his property my daughter walked out and said he's got a fence up one neighbor said then someone said it was electric and I said oh no if something happens to one of those kids Then they're going to have a lot of angry parents In response to Brian's extreme countermeasure against the children neighborhood parents banded together in outrage The electric fence concerned local parent Wayne Milby who noted that Brian hadn't even bothered to put up a warning sign about the dangerous fence for the kids However, Tucker later showed news reporters that there was indeed a sign about the electric fence Although it was located 15 yards away from the actual bus stop It was stuck onto the battery that powers the fence and it featured pictures of cattle on it Other parents noted that while the shock wasn't painful. It sent the wrong message. I understood his concern another neighbor said I just don't think he understood the neighborhood's concern as one parent put it the first day of school really come on now the timing of the fence really did seem malicious to the parents in the neighborhood and so they decided to call in the county police at 9 15 a.m. That morning That same day Henrico County Public Works director Steve Yob arrived at Brian's house to inspect the fence and measure his yard If the fence was on Brian's property, it would be deemed completely legal His findings after some careful measurement and research of the land He stated Brian's yard starts further off the road from where the fence is where the fence was put is clearly county right-of-way bad news for Brian he had to take down the fence because it wasn't technically on his property He did so right away and without incident. He now says that he's made a mistake and offered to correct it At the same time. He was also satisfied with what he feels is an important message that came out of the whole ordeal The message has gotten across. I'm pretty sure to everybody Brian told the local news. It's all over social media Neighbors are driving by parents are posting and talking about it now that the word is out apparently Brian Tucker can finally give his vocal cords a rest from shouting at the children passing by every day Given the liability concerns involved. He did have the right to worry about the kids playing on his lawn But next time hopefully he can come up with a better solution than an electric fence Was Brian's idea of an electric fence too extreme? Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and then don't forget to like this story and subscribe for more